Arizona voters will decide whether to enshrine the right to an abortion into their state's constitution this November. The Arizona Secretary of State's office announced it certified a ballot measure after the Arizona for Abortion Access Coalition submitted a petition with more than 577,000 signatures, surpassing the required 383,000 signatures. The measure is called the Arizona Abortion Access Act. It amends the state constitution to say every individual has a fundamental right to an abortion. The state shall not enact a law that interferes with that right before fetal viability or after if necessary to protect the physical or mental health of the pregnant individual. It defines fetal viability as the point in which a doctor determines there is a significant likelihood of the fetus's sustained survival outside the uterus without the application of extraordinary medical measures. Viability usually occurs by 24 weeks. In addition to the ballot measure and the presidential election, Arizonans will also be choosing who they want as their next senator. The race is between Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego and Republican Kerry Lake, a former TV news anchor. It's a race that could decide which party wins the Senate majority. Other states are in Arizona's position. There are 11 states where an abortion-related measure is either already on the ballot or organizers are actively seeking ballot access. That includes Montana, Nevada, Arizona, and Maryland, which all have hotly contested Senate races. Since the Dobbs decision in June of 2022, abortion ballot measures have gone undefeated. In August of that year, Kansas voters shot down a proposed constitutional amendment that said there's no right to an abortion. During the midterm elections in November 2022, five states voted on abortion-related ballot measures. In each one, voters chose to protect abortion access. In 2023, Ohio voters did the same. Despite the momentum in favor of abortion rights, it doesn't appear to be helping Democratic candidates. Look at the map this November. Florida's Republican Senator Rick Scott is considered a safe bet to win his re-election, according to the Cook Political Report. Incumbent Democratic Senators John Tester and Jackie Rosen, who represent Montana and Nevada, are both toss-ups. An AP NORC poll from July found that 6 in 10 Americans think their state should allow a person to obtain a legal abortion if they don't want to be pregnant for any reason. For more reporting on the 2024 election and the issues on the ballot, download the Straight Arrow News app and turn on notifications.